hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you the client side validation of the email ID using angular.js and notice after I refresh the browser I got the asterisk symbol which is a red mark which means the text box field is empty let's enter some random text see I got a message please enter proper email ID if I enter if I enter at gmail.com see the error has gone if I enter any special characters in the email ID for example dollar or hash carrot symbol which is not allowed in our email ID at at gmail.com see still showing the error message check email let's delete this one that tab. now the error message has gone the special characters we are allowing only the underscore and the hyphen symbol which we have given in our regular expression let's add the underscore to at gmail.com notice we have not received any error message suppose if I enter any special characters like at the rate which is not allowed in our email ID let's check this email ID is correct or not check email see we got a message okay that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I am using notepad plus plus right now notice in this page contains a simple HTML5 code with header tags h1, h2 and one horizontal line. Now before adding the text box and a button control to check the email id is valid or not using angular.js first we will check the basic output how it looks the designing part on the browser and here we got the output of that html page contains at this moment the header tags h1, h2 and one horizontal line. Now let's add one text box control and button control into this HTML page. After the horizontal line, form tag, I'm closing the form tag. Inside this form tag, I'm adding enter the email ID. Input type is equals to text I'm closing the input text box control I'm adding break after that I'm adding the button control input type is equals to submit value is equals to check email is a button control name that's it before adding the angular.js functionality let's check the output i'm reloading the browser and here we got the output after adding the controls text box control and button control now let's add the angular.js functionality to check the email id is valid or not so when we are using angular.js the first thing we require the latest angular.js cdn angular.js Data CDN and from the search results I'm selecting angular.js select that one angular.js website you can find different versions of angular.js angular angular 2 now I, I record the angular.js the version I'm selecting the 1.5.11 1 so after selecting the version I need the CDN link which is this one angular.min.js just copy this part and add in our between header section inside the script source is equals to I'm pasting the CDN link and closing the script tag after that I'm adding another script I'm closing the script tag inside this script 
I'm adding the angular application variable app is equals to angular dot module between double quotes I'm adding the angular application name which I'm adding after the center div tag inside this div I'm adding the direct to ng iPhone app is the angular application name my app just copy this one and press here comma after that I require the controller app dot controller between double quotes in the same view I'm adding the angular direct to ng iPhone controller is equals to the controller name is my controller let's copy this one and paste here comma function dollar scope now in this function I'm adding another function dollar scope dot email check is a function name function dollar scope dot result is ok that's it we have finished the angular.js functionality but if you notice here I have not mentioned any regular expression of the email id let's add the regular expression in the input type text the first one I'm adding the attribute name is email the next attribute I'm adding the ng iPhone model attribute is the angular ng iPhone model is a angular.js director so here I'm adding text email after ng model the next director I'm adding ng iPhone pattern is equal to between double quotes I'm adding the regular expression to match the email id so between double quotes the first thing I'm adding the forward slashes any regular expressions that starts with the forward slash and ends with the forward slash so we have to write the regular expressions between these forward slashes I'm adding caret symbol the regular expression starts after this after this caret symbol between square brackets here I'm giving the condition I'm allowing the email IDs the capital letters AZ and small letters AZ as well as I'm adding the 0 to 9 numeric values and now I'm giving some condition to enter special characters like underscore hyphen again backward slash dot plus backward slash h I'm adding the domain name the regular expression plus backward slash dot now after the dot I'm adding the domain extensions like dot com dot info dot in the regular expression is capital AZ and small AZ I'm not giving any numeric values for the domain extensions but but I'm restrict the user to enter between two to four words like dot com it contains only three words dot info as four words two comma four so the extensions must be between two and four letters only that's it we have finished the email id pattern in this directory and the last one I'm adding the required field attribute now I'm adding the span tag to display the error message the first span tag I'm adding the asterisk symbol star symbol 
If a user leaves blank without entering any values in the text box control, I'll get this error message span tag. ng iPhone show is equals to between double quotes. I'm adding the form ID name. Name is equals to form one. Copy this one. Dot the name email from the text box control. Dot dollar error is required. The second span tag. If a user enter the invalid email pattern, then I'll get this error message. Please enter proper email ID. Ng show. Same thing. I'm getting this form one dot email which is a input text box name email dot dollar error dot the pattern is not matching it's a pattern I'm adding style color column red let's copy this one Paste here. And the last pan tag I'm adding if the user enters the correct password, it matches our regular expression pattern. So I want to display this function result. Okay. Let's copy this one result between curly braces, which is an Angular JS expression. I'm adding this result. style I want to display this message in a green color color green and this pan tag will be displayed when I click this button control so in the form one ng iPhone submit between double quotes form one dot dollar valid and the function name email check that's it we have done the complete coding part let's save this file we'll check the final output on the browser I'm reloading the browser and notice after I refresh the browser I got the asterisk symbol which is a red mark which means the text box field is empty Let's enter some random text. See, I got a message. Please enter proper email ID. If I enter, if I enter at gmail.com, see the error has gone. If I enter any special characters in the email ID, for example, dollar or hash, caret symbol, which is not allowed in our email ID. at at gmail.com she is still showing the error message check email let's delete this one that tag. now the error message has gone the special characters we are allowing only the underscore and the hyphen symbol which we have given in our regular expression let's add the underscore to at gmail.com notice we have not received any error message suppose if I enter any special characters like at the red which is not allowed in our email ID let's check this email ID is correct or not check email see we got a message okay that's it